Hello, welcome back to Road to Comic Con with Pale Horse. Over the last couple of weeks, I found it increasingly harder to get back in the studio. I'm not really sure if it was because my studio was a little cluttered or if I was just plain tired from the, the week's grind. Uh, but I found some time off uh, over the last couple days and I picked up my studio and uh, organized my desks, cleaned, cleaned up things and uh, got ready to paint and um, just waited for the inspiration to hit me. But I found uh, myself having a full day off of work uh, last night and I decided to take full advantage of that time off and I just uh, went at it and I finished up one of my free flow paintings and uh, did a little time lapse and I started an, a brand new one. Um, right now I'm experimenting with doing things um, as they come to me. I'm not really planning them out. I'm just uh, attacking the canvas when, when I get inspired and sometimes I, I get it on video, sometimes I don't. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with my, uh, my newest painting. Um, it's this owl. Looks pretty good right now. It's got a, a crazy little skeleton guy and, and some floating orbs in it. Um, I took my time on this painting and uh, I really enjoyed um, the outcome. I played with um, light sources and reflective light and um, just trying to, to test myself in, in areas that I wasn't completely uh, solidly um, uh, sure that I, I knew exactly what, what I was doing. So uh, in this painting I was, like I said, I was testing myself with uh, using light and negative space and, and glowing and, and trying to uh, convey that uh, on a canvas um, with you know a free flow um, painting process. I'm not really sure uh, how I want to go about talking about that. Um, but I just attacked the canvas. I had a kind of a, an idea of what I wanted to uh, achieve. I laid out the rough ge geometry, did an underpainting, and then I uh, experimented with the uh, the glowing effects and, and the, uh, the atmosphere and the negative space and stuff. So I had a pretty good time doing this one. Um, I started a new one right after I was finished with that, the owl. And uh, I'm calling this one the new kids. And uh, I just um, kind of wanted to experiment with uh, character uh, design and uh, textures and uh, try, try to do it a little bit of a different painting style, a little bit looser, a little bit uh, you know more free and uh, just really just getting the idea down and 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 going from there um, it's turning out pretty good I have a lot more I want to do to it um, but uh, I think I'm enjoying this painting style and I think I'm gonna continue trying to come up with maybe uh, a couple more paintings with these characters in there um, I kind of see like um, this is his shy friend and he's kind of a scary guy. He doesn't have any eyeballs, so that makes him pretty scary. He's a little dirty, but um, I, I enjoyed uh, coming up with this uh, character. I um, just did some reference, or not reference, but uh, gesture. Like I um, started off with pencil and I kind of just like started looking at some shapes that were um, interesting in, interesting my eye. And then I, uh, I kept going from there. One thing led into another, and then, uh, then I just, it just clicked. And I said, I see the, uh, the image that I want, and I just traced it out in pencil. The, uh, the shapes that I was seeing from the, uh, the underpainting that I put on there with the, uh, with the experimental lines, you know, the construction lines. And then I saw the character in there, and then I put, picked him out and darkened his outline a little bit more, and then brought it forward and then it turned out to be like this. So I kind of wanted to have it like on the playground. There's a, a schoolhouse kind of skewed with a little bit of a, a pathway, keeping it real simple. Um, I got some birds, some like crows or whatever, flying by a uh, swing set and then here's a little ball that I'm working on. And uh, I did some splatter and some you know texture work down here. I'm gonna uh, I'm trying to come up with a, a cool design for um, some foliage or some weird kind of 
grasses. I don't want the the typical lines or, or shoots of grass. I want something with a little bit more of a um, a wheat look to it. Like I don't know. Uh, in the creative process, sometimes you get this uh, ideas in your head that you think will go well with something. And uh, and at this time, I think I want to put some stronger pieces of, of grass. So I'm thinking more along the lines like a wheat or some kind of stalk like grasses in there to uh, um, uh, make the, the feel of depth. So you have some foreground, middle ground and background and then the, uh, the way you paint the background, the far background uh, will help with drawing your, your, uh, your giving you more depth into the painting. So uh, right now I'm pretty happy with the, how this is turning out and uh, sorry I didn't get a uh, time lapse for this but uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, finish it up on a time lapse and be able to share the completion with everybody. But um, I'm super stoked about being able to have uh, three paintings so far that are almost near, actually no, two paintings that are completed and this one, the third one on the way to being completion. Um, I wanted to get, my goal was to get five original paintings and try to do a show somewhere or um, um, do something. The way things are turning out right now, I'm, I'm happy with my development and the way things are going. Um, these new paintings um, are a testament to uh, my growth as an artist and my, uh, my future growth and where my potential lies. So uh, I'm pretty excited about still walking this path as being a uh, you know self-sustaining artist even though I'm not fully self-sustained right now but uh, it'll come um, yeah I got, first I got to learn to to walk you know so I'm still crawling right now so um, I'm happy with what I got uh, I hope you like the small time lapse of the completion of the owl picture and uh, keep painting